now as promised, I would like to introduce a very special guy, a very special friend. Dr. Dave Carpenter is a world-renowned naturopath MD. He has spoken on a variety of health subjects at more than 100 medical conventions in more than 19 countries around the world, and uh, he has extensive background and knowledge on the subject of HGH and its many health benefits. So, Dr. Dave Carpenter, could you please come on out and tell our audience why this amazing, amazing product is literally turning back the clock for those who are using it. Good evening. Good evening, Jeannie. Thank you so much for the introduction and uh, uh, for making it so difficult to follow such an amazing presentation. Thank you. Uh, I am excited, folks, to be here with you tonight because I have seen the benefits that people are getting with this Somaderm gel. Uh, these are real benefits. They're uh, as good as anything you could imagine, including I think equal to or maybe even better than what people are getting on the injections for many, many, many times more money. So to just quickly understand human growth hormone and how important it is, because I understand it's a little confusing out there. There's a lot of information that can, can cause confusion. And confusion is an interesting thing. We have watched it occur over and over and over in the health field. For example, confusion reigned back in the days when we were starting to discover that smoking cigarettes really was not healthy. But there was so many experts touting that, that, that it was and it was still the best thing for you to do and it was very safe. It created a lot of confusion. Today, not so much confusion about that subject, but it's taken a long time to clear that up. There's still confusion about whether drinking dairy products is, is good to build bones. There's still confusion about whether eggs are healthy. And I could go on and on and on, but I understand confusion and how important it is to, to create some clarity. So tonight what I'd like to do is just real quickly help you understand what the benefits of having human growth hormone are. Human growth hormone is a hormone. It's a master hormone of the body. And hormones' jobs are basically to help your body work at an optimum level. It's the communication department for your cells and for your body. With a roughly 100 trillion cells in the body that need to be communicated with every day and given instructions to help promote your, your health and wellness, uh, that's a pretty major task. So let's look at an example of what happens when you're not operating at your peak. We'll look at several examples in a minute, but let's start with this one. If you had two people who had an accident and the severity of their injuries and the type of injuries were identical, the one, let me ask it this way, which one would heal the fastest? One is 16 years old, one is 60 years old. Would you think that the 16-year-old would heal quicker or less quickly than the 60-year-old? And every single time I've asked that question, the answer has been unanimously, we all know the 16-year-old is going to heal faster. But the important million-dollar question in this is, why is that? What is it that a 16-year-old has besides biological age? What's the difference? And when we look closely at the body, we realize that the 16-year-old has an optimum level of the master hormone, human growth hormone. About age 20, that starts to change and we start dropping off at a very rapid pace from age 20 to our early 40s. We're dropping down about 85% in the amount of growth hormone we make. If you live here in the Western world, where our Western diet and lifestyle seems to accelerate that over uh, some of our Asian counterparts, for example, when we look at the longest lived people around the planet, one of the things they have in common is a much higher than expected level of human growth hormone. Well, the beauty of that is this. That elevated amount of human growth hormone is what's allowing that 16-year-old to get his body, his, his or her cells working so efficiently that they heal in a lot less time than the 60-year-old will from the same identical injuries. And, and by the way, as we pass our 40s and move on into our 50s and 60s and 70s, there are a lot of signs 
of things that are happening in our bodies that are signs of that drop in human growth hormone. Now, a lot of people are familiar with hormone replacement therapy. That happens as you get older. It's rare that somebody has hormone replacement therapy as a 17-year-old. It's way, way, way more common if you're in your 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s. And I bring that about because, again, the top hormone in the hierarchy is human growth hormone made in the pituitary gland. If we can optimize that, the other hormones seem to work really well and really efficiently. So let's start talking about what happens alongside healing or not healing as fast if your HGH levels drop off. One of the things is you start seeing you, you don't sleep as good. Um, again, the, the sleep cycle is regulated by hormones, particularly melatonin and serotonin. Another sign that you're dropping in HGH is that visceral fat that accumulates around the middle. And no matter how hard you work out, no matter how many sit-ups and push-ups and pull-ups and laps you swim in the gym, you just can't seem to get rid of it. Another sign is thinning of the hair. And then there's bone loss. And then there's thinning and wrinkling of the skin. Um, you don't see that with children. The skin doesn't wrinkle with children. It wrinkles as we age, and one of the reasons is there's a major drop in our body's ability to hang on to the water that we take in. And so our cells start to lose their plumpness. We don't make as much collagen as we used to. We lose our flexibility and we just start to see the, the wrinkles getting more and more noticeable. Our joints start to hurt. Our joints start to uh, even sometimes deteriorate and, and the cartilage collapses and we start having what doctors often refer to as bone on bone. That's a, a situation where the cartilage has simply deflated or dehydrated and the two bone endings are close enough together that they're, the friction is causing uh, a lot of inflammation and therefore pain. Other things that happen are, are, are changes like in uh, blood sugar, for example. A lot of people don't realize it, but uh, insulin is a hormone. Uh, we see people with uh, hot flashes and even cold flashes. We see people with cramping in the hands and the feet, enlarged prostate in men. We start seeing um, low energy, low endurance. We start seeing brain fog and memory problems. And the inability to perform sexually sometimes becomes a major problem as people age. Um, loss of libido also happens. All of these things, in my opinion, are directly related to that drastic decline in human growth hormone levels. So what are some ways we can increase that? Well, along with diet and lifestyle, we can increase it mainly three ways that I'm familiar with. Um, one is uh, the injectable somatropin. Uh, it's expensive. You have to give yourself a shot every day. That's not something that most of us look forward to. Uh, and you also have to monitor uh, it with your doctor. It has to be blood draws done every 90 days or so, uh, and you have to make sure you're not getting too much. And there are multiple side effects listed in doing that. But there's no doubt that it works. There are so many examples out there, and as Jeannie mentioned, it's almost a $200 billion market already. And uh, you know, when people are spending that kind of money, it's because they're getting results. Otherwise, it wouldn't keep growing. It would turn around and go the other direction. So we know the injections work, but they are not fun to do to yourself, and they're uh, very expensive, and as I said, they have side effects. Now, another option is the antecedents, or what some people call precursors. That's a way you can increase growth hormone uh, by taking pills that are mostly made up of uh, amino acids in a very specific formula or recipe, if you will, but you have to take them on an empty stomach. You can't eat for two hours afterwards. You can't even drink anything but water during that two-hour period, and you know what? That's really hard for a lot of people. So when I was introduced to this Somaderm gel, I got excited because I saw how easy it would be for people to be compliant and use it, how they could just sit it next to their toothbrush, for example, and every time they brush their teeth, they put a little pearl-sized amount on the inside of their wrist, 
and it immediately starts to help the body make more growth hormone. It helps to balance out hormones and um, really optimize the endocrine system. Oh, my gosh, the results that are coming in are absolutely amazing. And every day I hear more and more and more of those. And I can tell you, as you get on this HGH gel, you start to experience it. And it may not be this month. It may not even be the next one. But I promise you, if you stay with it, your life will change, your health will change, and your energy and your vitality and the enjoyment of life will change. Uh, one of the things that somebody pointed out to me just recently was how much they, decide, they think that having people on this Somaderm gel is improving their attitude. I couldn't agree more. I've, I've seen it for years. As HGH levels goes up, so does our optimism, our happiness level, our joy level. We start to feel better about life. We start to feel better. We're in less pain. There's so many benefits. So with that, I'm going to uh, turn it back to you, Jeannie, and let you uh, continue with the call. Thanks for inviting me on, and I really appreciate the opportunity.